Goodbye. Hey, Brian Purdy here. So today I want to ask you a question. Do you diet? Have you done a diet in the past? Or do you know someone who is dieting or has done a diet in the past? Now let me ask you a follow-up question. Have you or do you know someone who has done two or more diets? Probably, right? Because here's the thing about diets. They don't fix the problem. It's a short-term solution to a long-term problem. It's like if I cut my finger off and I wrap a band-aid around it and call it good. It's not really getting to the root of the matter and fixing what's really going on. And don't get me wrong, some diets can be helpful in the fact that they get us thinking differently about our food and what we're putting in our bodies. So they, they're not completely useless, but there's way better ways out there. So a diet, it's designed by default to restrict something. It's going to tell you don't eat this or don't eat that or eat this, eat that while you're not eating that. So it kind of structures out, you know, what you should be eating. The problem with that is it's so focused on restriction that a, it's hard to keep up over the long term. You know, we can, our bodies, we can go a while being restricted on certain foods, but let's be honest, eventually we're going to crave some of those items that maybe the diet is restricting. And then what happens when that happens, when we get that craving, we fall off the bandwagon. The diet ends, we're off it, we're back to eating the same way we were because all we were focusing on was restricting this one thing. And then as soon as I stopped restricting that thing, everything went to hell and I went back to square one. That's why diets suck because they're based solely on that principle of if you don't eat this certain food group or these certain types of food, you're going to do great. And then the second you do, you're screwed because you don't, it's not teaching you how to eat, where your food comes from and all that. It's simply giving again, short-term solutions. Now I don't say that to kind of like down diets. I know a lot of people who are doing diets because they want to make a change. They want to, you know, improve their lives. And that's awesome. Like I love that. But I want to explain that like a diet is not the best way because we've been so conditioned in our society that we live in that diets are the way to go. You know, if you want to get in shape, oh, I got to do this diet. Like that's just immediately where your mind goes because we immediately think that a diet is the answer. But if diets were the answer, why are so many people on diets and not seeing results? Or why are so many people doing multiple diets because the first one obviously didn't work? But Often what we see is we just see, well, it worked when I was following the diet and I got off the diet and then I went back to where I was. Okay, well, it's still not fixing the problem. That diet may have helped you out a little bit, but it didn't teach you what you need to set up your foundation for life so that you don't have to keep going through these endless cycles on repeat over and over again because that's all freaking diets do. So what now, right? Well, that's coming later this week, so stay tuned for Thursday's video where I'm going to be talking about what to do instead of dieting. So be sure and like or comment and please follow us on YouTube that way you don't miss the notification for that second video coming this week. Thanks for watching.